anyway, y'all, day two here at Thunder Ranch. Don't really know what to expect. I've talked to a few people and people don't know what to expect. Smith & Wesson is here, Leupold's here, and I'm here, and that's pretty exciting. Should be a fun day. Big thank you to the sponsor CMMG for this experience. They help with the flights. Y'all know where to find them, makers of the Resolute, the Banshee, and the Endeavor line, and I'll be showing more of their good stuff later this week. Y'all know where to find them over at CMMG. <coughs> you know what? It's gonna be fun. I am up, I am showered, I've had coffee. It's gonna be a blast. Thunder Ranch 2022, let's do it. All right, this is my boy Ryan, and Ryan with TFB TV. Ryan, what is your favorite thing about Thunder Ranch? You've been here a bunch of times. What's your favorite thing and why? Uh, um, probably the food, as well as the friendships made along the way. Quick, the food. The, this guy comes up with the food. We're here for world-class instruction. What's your favorite thing? The food that we bought down at Safeway. Thanks, Ryan. You're welcome. <laughs> In the shade, in the shade of the lodge, we found the middle-aged white men having their afternoon snack. State your name. Vega, Joe. Vega, Joe, who you with? Smith & Wesson. What's your favorite thing about Thunder Ranch? This beautiful weather. You're getting ready to move to Tennessee. What, what are you most nervous about? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we are, end of day one. What is your number one takeaway? Today? Yeah. Mm, light does funky shit indoors, and I guess like it, nothing I would have ever thought about, but leave your red dot on the maximum brightness and just deal with it. Super interesting point we learned today. Just leave that red dot on full brightness and then deal with it if you have to go into a dark environment. All right, up next, Jimmy. I am going to go into the other room and talk a little bit about my personal loadout for Urban Rifle tomorrow. So just okay. a chest rig and basic things. Mm -hmm. For you, what is an important thing for a loadout for guys that are just going to go to the range, going to be really trying to get some reps in? So what's one key for what you take with, besides the basics, Air Pro, Eye Pro, let's not do the basics, but what's one thing that you always have with you? I always have, and I think people have noticed this, I've got no deal with Spiritus systems. We've mm -hmm. talked about this, like the bank robber chest harness, I guess is the word, magazine mm -hmm. harness. Um, I, I've, I've got two of them. I haven't blown one out yet, and I've been using the same one for about five years. And you know, they're all elastic. That's what you worry about is like yep. blowing those cells out, like using them over and over. But I use it for AK mags, AR mags. If I wear that in a video, one of the number one comments in the video is like, hey, where did you, like what chest rig is that? It's impressive. I, it impressive. is, I mean it is, it's a solid rig. Compared to like what I thought I would be going for, I see yours, I'm like, I bought the wrong thing. Yeah. So I've been trying to mimic it ever since. That, that one right there, look at those people and tell them, who do you love? You, John John? Of course. I'm here with this guy and we'll do something a little more official in a day or two, yeah. but today's day two here and these folks would be very unhappy if you didn't at least say hello to them well, here I on day two. I appreciate all of you. It's good to see all of you. It went really good. It was a, a warm but not warm like it is, you know, over there uh, in the hot part of the country. Uh, and we have a little bit of breeze. Our flags are flying, so that's awesome. Uh, but we're having a good time. Uh, we're doing the Leupold Smith & Wesson tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> We're doing rifles, they're gonna open a can of whoop ass on these boys, okay, and punch out some stuff. So uh, we'll give them a dose of urban rifles, so that should be pretty good. But I appreciate talking to all of you. I hope everyone's well, take care of yourself, okay? And remember ultimately, and it wasn't yesterday, so what we're doing is tomorrow.
Chris, it's mm -hmm. all good. Okay, awesome. All right. Well, I'm at the end of day two. Had an absolute blast. I am sunburned, if you can't tell. Been out in the sun all darn day long. Now, I'm gonna have some footage down the road for you that Ryan over at TFB TV, he helped me take today because I've been out in the sun and not filming. Now, for this video, I want to end with what I'm going through right now. I know a lot of y'all aren't going to be able to get out here just with time and money or maybe it's on your bucket list. So you're going to be training this summer at home. I don't pretend to be a trainer, y'all know that. But tomorrow we're going to be working through Urban Rifle One, which is the very first class I did here two years ago. So I went in a little bit ago and got my kit kind of ready to go. And that's kind of a funny word to say the kit, but I want to show you what I use tomorrow here. And it's the exact same stuff that I use when I'm at the house. And so I want to challenge you. And I told y'all yesterday, I want to push you a little bit. I want to challenge you not just to roll up to the range, get your gun out of your bag like you always do, mag dump, mag dump, and then put it back in, take it home and clean it. I want to challenge you to start thinking through real world examples. All day today, Clint and his staff tried to take what we were doing and apply it to the real world. And so I'm thinking through that as well. A lot of y'all keep magazines near your bed or near your go, go, go rifle. And that's the first thing I want to show you is how to manage magazines. And I have this simple, simple chest rig, but I'm able to pull these out in be able to reload super easy. And I just want to throw that out there that if you're not thinking through that, cause you're not always going to have your range bag with you and you can do something really simple. I know a lot of you guys wear belts all the time. Here is a simple one magazine carrier that you can just, I mean, I'm telling you, you can double your number of rounds that you have on your body. I'm also always when I'm here going to be having elbow and knee pads as well and then i'm going to work in gloves all day tomorrow and it's that simple i didn't want to mention the basic things like ear pro and eye pro I and mean, of course that's super simple and then i've got a really good strap that i'm going to be using tomorrow as well so that's what i'm thinking i'm always thinking magazines and i think if you would have asked me a year ago or two years ago what i'd be taking with me i would not have even mentioned magazines i would say throw an extra one in your back pocket but you always have your range bag with you got to move. And so that's what I'm going to be dealing with tomorrow. Absolutely a fantastic day. I am pumped to be here. Thanks for being a part of this experience with me. I hope it challenges you at home to grow and to stretch and to maybe go through some painful things like I am right now. I am going to go take ibuprofen and continue to hydrate. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.